very excited to talk about The Accursed. Uh, I watched it this morning and it was an absolute blast uh, from start to finish. Uh, I'll turn to Sarah, Alexis, and Mina first. What about this project really caught your interests to want to be a part of it? Off the bat, yeah, it's a, a horror. I love horror. I'm a fan of the genre. And um, the writing was just great. And and I spoke to Kevin and we really, really connected. And I just loved his aura and his, you know, disarming personality and his passion for the project was, you know, super infectious. And so I just felt super excited at the opportunity. And then uh, Alexis and Mina. Um, Mina, you go last. It's, you know, you need a break, right? <laughs> um, she usually talks first, and I'm like, we need to take brains. I think she deserves a break. Um, I was drawn to the project because it was a very different kind of character for me. It's something I've never been really given the opportunity uh, to play yet, and and Kevin. Uh, he, he, when I spoke to him, I asked him straight up, I was like, why me? <laughs> and he said, well, I, I he said, I, I really, we're going to have to move so fast with this that I don't have time to, to coach anybody. I can't teach anybody how to act. I can't really, I need veterans. And, um, and you have a career where you've never really been given a, a shot at, at, at some kind of character that is grounded and strong and like, we can't say ugly, but just not glamorous um and, and rough around the edges um and he wanted to see me challenge myself with that and I'm like man I love you thank you so very grateful uh and um yeah there, I mean we're repeating ourselves and all these things but um basically the uh, just the storyline is uh so much more in depth than most horror um if it was just a bunch of slash and nonsense for cheap bloody thrills and, and hits then you know probably not but it's not it's a very deep uh, film that's moving people on an emotional level and making them think and I could see that from from the storyline that that's that that was going to happen <laughs> and then Mina how about for yourself uh yes 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 and all that and then I guess um yeah I mean I've been a huge fan of the genre of my whole life um huge fan of Kevin's that felt like a no-brainer I was really impressed by um, the writing. I felt like it was um, really solid and I guess unique in a way when you think of most films in this genre. So that's what I really loved about it. I loved um, the way that it kind of makes fun of itself at moments. And um, uh, Alma is a lot. I was sort of like, wow, okay, this is <laughs> what you're thinking of me. Uh, for how am I going to do this? Um, it seemed pretty wild, but I love the challenge. Um, maybe that I don't know because it's so shocking. It was more exciting, to me. <laughs> but there were a few times where I felt like with certain scenes, uh, like the setup, um, I could see the you know the allusion to other films uh, or other you know. Um, horror, horror con content, and uh, I was like, "Oh wow, okay, we're gonna do that." You know, are you are you sure? But that's what was fun about all of it, you know, is um, really going there. So I had a lot of fun with all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad all three of you did because uh, I mean, the it is really a treat uh, for for horror genre fans uh, and. Kevin, that's a testament to you. And that's also a testament to Rob's script. And I'm curious, you know, what about the script really caught your interest to, you know, to, to bring it to life on screen? Uh, yeah, Rob Kennedy wrote a great script. And uh, I just love the whole characters, the dynamic of these women and what they were going through. And um, I, I just thought that, man, if I can if, tell this narrative and tell this story, I think there's something really special here. Um, and so really just the characters and you know they're you know the whole thing about grief and and regret and 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 the idea of you know with your demons we all have demons we all have to face them and this now in our movie manifests into a physical demon right but it's really about facing your demons and how if it doesn't catch up to you it will catch 
up to you, you know, and you have to take care of your problems. When I was talking to Sarah about it, I, I told her about Repulsion, the Polanski movie that I love. And uh, I just thought that that's such a great, that was a great example of, of someone who's just losing their mind. And you could really talk about too, like, you know, people, you know, go through a lot of tough times and they need help. Right. And that scene when she tells Beth, you know, Beth tells her, you know, maybe you should see someone, you know, she's like, like a psychiatrist, you know, it's like dismissive. And if only Ellie did that, and work through her pain and suffering on that, she wouldn't have been going through the cabin and, and wouldn't have done things. And I always think about life, like you have a right or a left, you make a right turn, what happens, you know? You make a left turn, what would happen, right? We're all divine by our choices and the choices we make. That was a very powerful theme when I read the script too, about the choices that each one of these characters make and what sets off the chain of events and reactions because of it. So all of that and more, you know? So with all of those themes then said, uh, Sarah, you have to carry a lot of those layers throughout this entire film. I mean, what was it like for you getting to the heart of, of your character, working with Kevin to work th with all, or work through all of those layers? Yeah, it, it was heavy and it, and it can be, you know, going those places emotionally can be um, draining, but so fulfilling and cathartic. Um, and thankfully, you know, working with Kevin, I, you know, I'm just so grateful. He was such a great collaborator. He was so receptive to if I had any ideas. Um, it was just such a joy to work with him and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, so I felt really lucky that way. I felt really supported. That's, that's, that's always what you want to hear uh, from a collaboration is, is that collaboration. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll turn to all three of you, Alexis, Sarah, and Mina next. Uh, what was your first reactions like when you saw uh, the, the demon uh, on, on set? Because that is really uh, quite the, the crazy design. Uh, awesome. It was kind of confusing because it looked, <laughs> it looked terrifying, but Troy's such a sweetheart. Like just <laughs> radiating light, but then like the you know visually it was just like you know so scary. Yeah, uh, Sarah said it well. He he really radiates like inner love and beauty, and like really is such a loving, kind person. Um, I think like I don't know. He's just unlocked like another part of himself. Is like he's just like liberated. How what, what he can do with his body. And like, what a free spirit he is. It was like, he was like free of any negativity that could ever touch him. And I wonder if there's a correlation there with his extreme gumbiness. Like, I've never seen anyone like that before in my life. And I did acrobatics. I've seen that kind of stuff before. But he, he's on another level. Um, he even, he had to put his finger in my mouth at one point And he was really, I'm really sorry about this. I love that. Are you petty? I hate doing this like it was so sweet and I was like just fucking shove it in there whatever <laughs> you're cool man <laughs> yeah that seems like it would probably be an awkward situation <laughs> it still sucked it still sucked but he was delightful about it <laughs> well that's good at least <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't um, want anybody else <laughs> their, their demon finger uh -huh. Nina. <laughs> um, so Kevin, I know you talked about repulsion as uh, a little bit of a influence for you on this one, but I'm curious, did you have any other sources of inspiration uh, that you looked to uh, when putting together this film, be it for the story or for the visual aesthetics? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, th this movie is a love letter to the 70s horror movie. So we talk about Rosemary's Baby and the Omen and the Changeling. The Changeling is is very important to me really, you know, just that those moments of George C. Scott in the house with the ball and, you know, the low angle, the balls on the floor and then the piano and then like, just getting those moments. And I just don't feel that some of these horror movies these days take time to just let things breathe and exist. And I really wanted that for this movie. I didn't want something quick cut. You know, there, it's funny because in the beginning it was like, how many jump scares we have and how many this and that. And it's like, no, we got to set the mood and the atmosphere and the tone if we do that right, then I think everything else is going to fall into place. So, and it's a tribute to everybody here, all these fine actors and what they did on this movie, because it couldn't have done it without them. I mean, this is a character piece 
and it, it's a movie, very deep movie about relationships and things. And no tricks of the trade is going to be is going to do anything if it weren't for them on there and, and what they did with these characters. So amazing job. Thank you so much. That's that's I, I love it because, uh, yeah, the 70s genre is one that I think is too often overlooked uh, in the horror genre nowadays, especially for inspiration. So I love that you turned to that. Um, and Sarah and Mina, I'll come to you next. I love the dynamic that you two have together when you're whenever you're on screen. It's this wonderfully odd and slightly combative back and forth. What was that like developing that rapport with one another off camera before bringing it into to filming? I'll just say a testament to Mina's acting is she was so kind and supportive and warm and then it was action she was on she was terrifying she was evil <laughs> and then as soon as it was cut she was back to you know super warm and she was so able to like turn it on and off it was really impressive very nice oh god i mean we it was, it was a really quick shoot you know i mean um we didn't get to meet one another or talk much you know until i really got there so um you know, and then I don't know, for me personally, I, I never want to like bother anybody. <laughs> I just sort of like, I just want to be a fly on the wall, like come in, do my thing. Um, because I know that schedule, I know it's so intense. Um, but I mean, you know, we had such a wonderful connection with Kevin and I feel like, um, you know, any, any moment that I needed something, I always had that time, you know, with him or with Sarah in the moment. Like, I think just a lot of these things, I want to say possibly just unfolded naturally, you know? I mean, we didn't rehearse those moments together too much. I think it was more about, and you know, some people might not want to, you know? So I think that it was, I don't know, maybe just possibly a reflection of, uh, I think us all kind of having a, um, a strong of a grasp uh, of our characters and the story and where we needed to go. That's hopefully what I'm, I think that that uh, was reflected. I mean, for me watching the film, I really enjoyed um, the moments uh, also between, you know, Beth and Ellie. That was something that really stood out for me um, in particular with this film is I don't, I don't feel like you see enough of those like realistic, like grounded conversations. It felt very real. I felt like, you know, Beth genuinely really cared and was asking the questions that we wanted to, to know the answers to. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think it's a testament to so many things, not just Kevin. I mean, you have the script, Rob, you know, you have a lot of the meat and that's the magic that happens, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. And it uh, works really well. Uh, and, and since you mentioned that, I do, you're right. I also love that dynamic between Beth and Ellie. It's, it's such a wonderful thing to see develop throughout the film. And, and so Sarah, I'm curious what that was like for you building that rapport as well. Yeah, Sarah Dumont was awesome to work with. I'm so glad she played our Beth. She was like, she just brought so much energy to the character, so much life. She was just great to bounce off of. I felt like we did really have like a quick chemistry together so it was just a joy to work with her that's that's great um so how does everybody feel now leading up to the film hey, can i say one more thing about sarah demont which blew me away she's such a team player we had a that beth's car and it was full of roaches and we had to get it uh taken care of the next day and yet there were some roaches and she's like i don't care we need the shot let's go and i'm like i love you so much and she was just amazing so yeah, it's awesome. Talk about a team player. <laughs> that's that's He's pretty a scary. <laughs> yeah. So, how, so how's everybody feeling though, leading up to the film's release? I mean, have you been hearing, uh, you know, uh, feedback or reception from anybody outside of me saying that I love the movie? <laughs> I think the people that um, I know that have just watched the trailer are really, really creeped out. Um, they're very disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yeah i mean i try not to think about these things because you can't control any of that you know it is what it is um 
and we all had a great time. That's all that matters. But uh, I mean, for me personally, I don't know. I think that Alma really goes there in some of these moments. So I'm a little excited <laughs> to see. But I love this film. I mean, really, everyone is so incredible. And like just what we talked about, like the, the script, these moments that I think Kevin really lets breathe this type of filmmaking. For me, just watching it was um, really refreshing, especially in this genre, because you don't really see that, I think, a lot. So it's just really grateful to be a part of it. Is this going to come out after the film is out or before? Roughly around the time the film comes out. So I can say something? Say whatever you would like. I found it really hard to choke you, Nina. Like, that was fucking hard. Like, that was the hardest thing of anything. Like, how do I choke this beautiful woman? Ah, also slamming Meg's head down. That was hard, too. I need to work on that. I, I mean, I was so impressed. I mean, and that's the thing. Like, when you, it's like, I think we all knew that, like, sense of urgency, right? It's like, we got to do what we got to do. Um, yeah. But... Like, no holds bar, but... But that was that was so fun though, because I mean, you just feel so safe with one another, and I'm glad you enjoyed horrible it. things I had to do to you, Sarah, and like <laughs> yeah, all the grotesque things. But I mean, everyone was a team player like that. Everyone was like, okay, you know, um, let's get it, you know. And that's I think, but that's a testament to you, Kevin. You know, it really falls back on that because it's it's a gift it's very special you don't always have that you know people that are just like i care because of the art and the you know the creative element and i'm game for whatever you know so everyone was like that and it, i think it just thank you now that that moment that scene was really important to me because yes alma's bad okay yes she's the villain and everything else and stuff but you know, again, we have a demon and everything going on, but then we has, also have two human beings and one and, and, and the violence that that other that one human being is inflicting on the other one, brutal violence, choking someone. And it's like, who is the demon in the room, right? Is the demon the demon or is it mankind, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so that really was important to me. And I do a cut away of the cross that's dangling on her because, you know, I think sometimes, you know, we can get caught up in things and it's like, you know, you, you can read into things and organize religion and stuff like that. Like who's manipulating who, right? Who, who is, who, who, who's pulling the strings? Is the person like Mary Lynn? It's, it's mankind, it's, it's brutal and it's raw. But then there's this also demon, which kind of also represents the demon that they're all facing. And who's the bad guy, you know? Alma clearly is, but taking someone's life, like what Mary Lynn does, I mean, that's, that's pretty uh, intense and that's going to the dark side. So we all have that kind of darkness in our hearts, you know, and so that moment was very important to me because it just showed the brutality of, of, of humanity, you know, even though there, there's supernatural stuff going on with the demon and all this stuff, it's just two people and someone's choking the life out. I remember talking to Charlie, our stunt coordinator, because I mean, remember we were all figuring out how to do it and make it ever safe. And he was like, well, you know, if someone gets choked out, it's like five to eight seconds or whatever. I was like, okay, that's what we're gonna do. I was trying to make it as brutal and as real as possible. That's why I only did like two setups of the camera because I wanted to make it like you, like the, the audience was there in the room as a voyeur watching it and make it an even more uncomfortable because mm -hmm. violence is not fun and it's not, you know, you know, it's not here for glamor and everything. It's very brutal and, and honest, you know, because that's what mankind to do. As I said before, we can create things and we can destroy. And at that moment, everything was getting destroyed. Ellie's world was getting destroyed. Mary Lynn was, was getting destroyed within. Sadie's gonna be getting destroyed because she's becoming Mary Lynn. Alma's now getting destroyed. She's gonna start becoming, you know, the demon, you know, the demon and all that. So to me, it was all a culmination building to that one moment. That choke is a very important moment in this movie. Well, it's very well executed. It's, uh, I definitely can, I definitely felt the brutality uh, in that sequence. So uh, kudos to all of you. Uh, I am 
getting the rap signal. So I am unfortunately going to have to go, but thank you all so much for taking the time to chat. I greatly appreciate it. Kevin, I think I'm actually talking to you again tomorrow. So awesome. we'll dive in a little further. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Grant. Thank you. Thank you Grant. Absolutely. Thank have you, a good Grant. rest of the week, everybody. Thank you.